Hello and welcome to episode 5 of The Simpsons Week on my channel celebrating 2k subscribers. We're on Friday, it's the last day today and we are ending it where it all began with The Simpsons game on the PS2. So let's press start, let's get started. I do believe this is my same save file from the Let's Play over what, what, two years ago now. Uh, there's probably one easy way to find out. Um, episode replay, if all of these are unlocked, aha! I think they are, and all of the collectibles are there, so this is definitely the same save file. Oh, nostalgia, man. We're going back. Long time. Um, so yeah, this is The Simpsons game, released in 2007. So quite a while now, but let's go with... Let's just start... Let's start with the first level. Let's start with the Land of Chocolate. That's where it really first started. So um, we'll have a little go through the tutorial level and reminisce about all that time ago. Excuse me, Tutty. You're eating our world. Hey, you like that rabbit thing from that book about a girl named Alice who goes to Wonderland. What was it called? Oh, yeah. Snow White and Stupid Town. For your information, I am the White Chocolate Rabbit. Hey, White Chocolate's not even chocolate. It doesn't even contain cocoa salad. Well, if I'm not real chocolate, then you probably wouldn't be interested in eating me. Mmm, <laughs> White Chocolate. Leap, Jumbo, leap! I hate no it all chocolate! Oh boy, here we are, back in the first level, the tutorial level of the Simpsons game. And my goodness, I forgot how much of an eyesore this game is. Or at least this level anyway, this first level is not a great, a great showcase of the video game's graphics really, is it? Oh, anyway, let's get on with it. Let's go chase this white rabbit. So yeah, we're ending off the Simpsons week. Oh god, I think I died that same place in the first playthrough. <laughs> we're ending the Simpsons week with the Simpsons game, my first Let's Play, where I started on YouTube. And it's quite interesting because, to be honest, this game isn't isn't a great one. Oh, oh, oh I'm sucking today. This game isn't isn't. It's, it's a good Simpsons game, but it's not a great Simpsons game. Um, and it's a bit odd. Oh, let's punch him then. Come on. It's a bit odd that, that it's this game that, that kind of got me into Let's Playing. It's very weird. I think I've mentioned before why this is my first Let's Play. It's because not long before I, I uploaded the first video, I actually played through this whole game with a friend. Just in one sitting, we, we decided to play through it all. Um, and after doing that, I decided, hey, let let me record it and and put it on YouTube. Why not? I'd known about Let's Plays at that point, so I thought, let's have a go at one. Do you know what? Something's really bugging me. Just very quickly. Controls. Uh, vibration off, please. Thank you. That's better. So yeah, that, that's why I picked this game. And it's crazy that this is the game that kind of got me into it. And, and also, it's crazy... How many views, like this, this let's play, well, my first let's play, got? Obviously, it took a while, but t uh, views tend to like exponentially grow, and so I think one of my parts, or maybe even two, I don't know, have like over a hundred thousand views, which is mind-boggling to me, especially considering it's so bad. My God, my first let's play is awful, but I think that's because there was no other. Um, let's play 
of the PS2 version at the time. I don't really think there was a Let's Play of any version, to be honest. Even though it was like three years after the game had been released. I don't know, I could be completely wrong there. But it seems like mine was like one of the top ones to come up. And that's why people watched it. And I didn't, I didn't like set out to do that. I didn't realise. I didn't kind of look through YouTube and see, hmm, there hasn't been many Let's Plays of this. I'm going to Let's Play it. It was just pure coincidence, really, that that was the case. Die rabbits, hang on, they're going to keep spawning, aren't they? Oh, let me get rid of the spawner, this thing. There we go. But yeah, it, it, is, it is very odd to me that it's got so many views. And it's so cringeworthy looking back. I really don't like watching those videos. I don't. Does anyone know? It's it's the same. It's like in life. Does anyone like watching home videos of themselves as a child or as a baby? Not really. It is embarrassing. And that's the same for me. Um, I don't think there's any collectibles because we already got them all. Two years ago. Yeah. Okay. Let's just carry on then. Go to the giant cake. So yeah, I can't really watch the older videos too much. I mean, I'm glad people watch them and I hope they kind of found it helpful. Well I'm sure they found the collectibles helpful because that's the main thing I, I wanted to do was to actually show people where all the collectibles were like all the bottle caps and all the tokens and stuff like that. Come on punch get on target. But it's so annoying that um, the game looks the way it does. And um, um, by that I mean quite awful. <laughs> I mean, I realise this is the PS2. And the PS2 is not going to have the best graphics. But I think I said this before in the Let's Play. Compare this to The Simpsons Hit and Run and they are poles apart. Poles apart in terms of graphics. There is a reason for that. It's, 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 they chose this particular style. It's called um, cell shaded, I think. Cell shaded graphics, which means... That from any angle you look at it, it looks 2D in a way. Which I think is true, like you you look at that and Homer does look flat. Because it's supposed to be like on TV. It's supposed to represent the characters at how they are on TV. Um, which is a 2D animation. So I can, I can see what they were trying to do and it's always nice to try new things. But did someone really not, before releasing the PS2 version, look at this and think... Yeah, this looks awful. <laughs> this looks... Do you know what? It's just the lines, the jaggedy lines really put me off, like on that tree. Look at that. Admittedly, later levels don't look as bad. This one is a particularly bad start. I think, I don't know why, I need to pull the lever. I don't know why, maybe the brown and all the swirls. But it does start to look a little bit better, I guess. Um, I can't actually remember when, but it does. And if I had, if I had uh, an HD PVR back then, which I certainly did not, but if I did, I would have recorded the Xbox version, or the um, well no, just the Xbox version, version because that version looked nice. That looked really nice. It was all nice and had shadows and good graphics and smooth. Oh, it was beautiful. Um, not the case for the PS2 though. Right, let's just get on with this, stupid rabbits. Oh, this camera's annoying me. Get up there. Let's go find the, the big boss battle and have like, like an epic battle with the boss. It's going to be amazing. But when I get up there and turn the camera... Yeah, I'm starting to remember why this game was slightly annoying. There we go. Come here, white rabbit. This is going to be a really long, arduous battle. Oh, no, it isn't. Yay! And here we go. This is a really weird end of this mission, I never know when it's actually going to end, so we're just going to keep smashing into things and it will soon fade out and go back to Homer's dream. Let's just do a few squishes as well, ready? Ugh. Ugh. Oh man. Come on. There we go, take that. Let's get rid of that last cart. Bam. Ha ha!
Not dreaming. Not dreaming. Not dreaming. Not... What? Damn it, I was dreaming! Why is life so unfair? All I want is the ability to eat everything in sight and turn into a giant ball! Is that too much to ask? Damn you, reality! Great job, Simpson! Time, 7 minutes, 1 second, point 0.61. Target was 5 minutes, our best was 6 minutes, 25, 11 apparently. Oh damn. We got all the collectibles, we did die. Uh, and we got two cliches. Not now, obviously, but in the past we did. Hurrah! Let's have a quick save with Kent Brockman. Now, I'm not sure what to actually do in this episode, because we're not going to do the story, obviously. So let's just go and play a few random levels. Maybe have a little wander around the Simpsons house. Um... Oh, there's a loading screen. And that, folks, is the loading screen I was thinking of way back in the Simpsons wrestling episode. I think I mentioned about a a loading screen there that looked familiar. It was this one. They both got itchy and scratchy. It's a small point. No one cares. Uh, so how do we go to the Simpsons house? Do we just go to continue story? Hmm. Let's see what happens when I click this. If there's a loading screen, I'll cut it out. Aha! It does take us to the Simpsons house. Okay. Let's just have a little wander around here. The, the poorly... Um, scaled Simpsons house. Look at this. Look how big this kitchen is. I'm so annoyed by this. I'm being so super nerdy, but it's like the kitchen is not that big. I understand they have to make it bigger for the game to walk around in, but come on now. Especially because, I mean, look at how long that goes on for. <laughs> and then if we go back, so this this room, apart from maybe back here, this bit here is pretty good. Pretty accurate. So is this room. Apart from... Oh no, that is, that's pretty accurate, I'd say. Man, this is so nerdy. We're, we're, we're basically like doing the blueprints of the Simpsons house. Definitely not that much room between here and here, though. I mean, this whole room's too big. And we're back to the beginning. Okay, enough of that. You don't care. I know you don't. Um, so yeah, this is what us PS2 players got. Uh, Xbox players, Xbox 360 and and PS3 players, they got the whole of Springfield to explore out there. Like that's that's where you could get all the missions. In here, you could only get missions from well, here and outside. Let's go outside. Oh, look a loading screen. But so we were confined to the Simpsons house. You guys had it lucky. You could explore Springfield. And I, I still haven't actually played an Xbox 360 version of that, so I, I don't know what this Springfield is like. Is it any good? I, I'm I'm guessing it's not as good as the Simpsons Hit and Run Springfield, because that's not really a a main bit of the game, is it, for this, like the Springfield bit? That's just like a, a level selector hub, a very fancy one. But... I have got to try that sometime and see what it's like. Because this sucks, really. We're just... Oh, well now we're in the garden. Great. Maybe I want to be an alien <laughs> uh, so let's, let's go do a mission. Can we do it from here? Or do we have to go to an actual place? Huh. How do I... I want to I wanna play a mission. I think we have to quit, though. You know what? I'm. I'm. There's another loading screen. There's going to be more. That's one horrible memory that I have of this game, is the loading screens and the fact I didn't cut them out. Oh, give me a break! It was my first Let's Play. I didn't know how to edit, <laughs> so I didn't cut them out. I should have though. Um, yeah, I'm going to meet you back at the main menu screen, and we'll go with another story mission. Okay, here we are. So, what shall we play? What was my favourite mission? That is a good question, and I don't really know the answer. Um, oh, that one was quite good. That one was quite good. Preferably, we want a short one. Oh, that one's quite short. We might do that one. Um, man, I forgot the amount of levels in this game. Okay, let's do let's do bargain bin because that's quite a short. We can have a quick little go for that one. Where are we? 
We're in the game engine. If our life is a video game, this is the factory where it was made. That's ridiculous. I'm not a video game character. I'm a real life person with dreams and feelings. <laughs> ah! All right, fine, I'm a video game guy. Now, can I ask a question? If this is a video game, where do we put the quarters? <gasps> oh my god, it's a nerd! That's right, the nerdiest nerd in the computerverse. <laughs> Will Wright, designer of Sim City and The Sims. Don't forget my biggest flop, Sim Sandwich. Its failure drove me mad. Mad! That's why I live here now, finding a home for old games nobody plays anymore. Video games are about what's new, and the old is better off forgotten. Any of these fellows look familiar? We look so pixely. And poorly rendered. Which one is supposed to be me? Don't destroy them. They may be obsolete, but they're still alive. Help! It's crazy! If he destroys us, we'll never escape from Krusty Island. Hi, March. You can't do this! Of course I can. I'm Will Wright, bitch. And pretty soon, when there's a new Better Simpsons video game than the one you're from, I'll destroy you too. Ha 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 ha! Stop him, Homer! Nerd! Oh my goodness, I've picked the only level that has a race in it. That has a timed... Oh, okay. That wasn't a, the best of choices, but oh well. Let's have a go, see if we can do this in time. We've got three minutes and a bit. So, I decided to keep that cutscene in. We're probably skipping the other cutscenes that we see in the future because, uh, well... This isn't a proper Let's Play, so we don't need to see all the cutscenes. If you do want to watch them, I have a Let's Play of this game, go watch that one. Just avoid the bad commentating and bad video quality and all that stuff. <laughs> okay, so I have to smash down that wall. Oh. Or door, even. There we go. So, <laughs> actually, I'm quite pleased, uh, pleased that I picked this mission because <laughs> I forgot that's the cutscene that has the... I'm Marge! I love that bit. Uh, do I actually go down here? I do! But looking back at all those levels just to pick from... Do we have to hit that? Yeah. I, I, I actually forgot how many levels this game had. And the thing is, this is a good game. This is a good game, The Simpsons game. Um, I mean, the storyline is interesting. And I'm going to sound like a complete hypocrite now because I, I think I said... Last episode or maybe the one before that I don't really like Matt Selman um, the Simpsons writer I don't really like his stories and I don't really like him as a person <laughs> yes that's very judgmental of me but it turns out that he wrote this yeah he wrote this storyline for this game and I do quite like it so I am a big fat phony but what I do what I like about it is it's very Lots of parody, obviously, all the like, parodies of different games, and... Oh, you're supposed to smash those, Homer. And uh, lots of self-referential stuff, lots of meta stuff, like referencing themselves. So it is quite... It's definitely different, which is what I like about it. You know, you don't, you don't see storylines where you're going through video game engines and meeting an evil Will Wright. You know, it, 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 they did a good job in that respect. I actually think we're right near the end of this mission. We've owned this mission. Come on. Oh yeah, let me carry on talking about this just after we finish this, and I'll show the cutscene, but then that's it. So, let's pull the lever and save the Simpsons family. This isn't right. Who put you up to this? What's it those jerks at EA? They hate me, you know. They're all jealous of me. Jealous, I told you. Great job, Simpson! Uh, time, 2 minutes 30, 76. Target was 2 minutes. Our best was... Oh, that was our best time. Oh, would you look at that? We're, we're so good at this game. Uh, collectibles... Blah, 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 blah. Oh, got everything that time. All collectibles, no deaths, both cliches. Well, no, no, just one cliche. Very good, very good. So, yeah, as I was saying, this game is, is actually pretty good. I think the only problems I have with it, like the major gripes of it, are the camera... You, you saw the camera in that tutorial mission, 
when I was trying to climb up the cake. It's not a great camera. Very clunky. Gets in the way a lot. Often goes into walls and things like that. They could have got the camera better. And I don't really like the controls too much. They seem a bit, a bit clunky as well. But apart from that, the story's good. And, and we're, we're going to discount graphics because graphics were actually quite nice on the Xbox 360. But apart from that, I think everything else is pretty good. Like, I really do like the story. Let's have a go with... Um, I do like Game Over, but let's do... Oh, I don't know. What do I do? What do I do? Uh, uh, let's do... Um, uh. All right, ready? Eeny, meeny, my Toe. Grand Theft Scratchy. No. <laughs> that did not work at all. We're going to do... Lisa the Tree Hugger. And I'm not going to... Let the cutscene play, I'm sorry. But I think the fact they, they, they went all out with the story, like, you know, trying to parody all the games. You got Sitar Hero, and um, we just saw Grand Theft Scratchy. Oh, God, bearded men. Uh, they did they did do like a, a good job of that. And actually, what's quite surprising, I, I was reading about this on Wikipedia. I missed this the first time. But apparently... They had a lot more games they were going to parody, but the 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 owners of the games, like the IP, wouldn't let them. And for example, they had a poster for Grand Theft Scratchy at some conference, and a Rockstar employee asked them to take it down. That's crazy, Rockstar, moaning about someone parodying their game. Now I suppose you could argue their games are more satire than parody. But you would have thought Rockstar, as a company, would have been cool for that. They would have been, they would have been fine. You know, they they seem like quite cool guys. Obviously, it's blocking me. Stop it. Obviously not. Stupid protecting their assets or something. Probably, you know, legal mumbo jumbo. Oh, I forgot. Oh, they they spawn from the the Porter Blues, whatever they're called. There you go. Which explode? I love how everything explodes. I've got some super shield power at the moment. I do not have a clue what's going on. But what I think is surprising is that I believe this game did quite well. I mean, it was released on so many platforms. It was released on PS2, Wii, which I'm guessing would have had the same kind of graphics as the PS2. So the Wii had it bad as well. Um, PS2, Wii. Uh, DS, Xbox 360, PS3. I mean, it, it was one of those games, like all kind of franchisey games or movie tie-in games. They're just released on everything, uh, and so I believe, whoops, it sold quite well. So that does show. It surprises me that. Turn the camera, please. There we go. It does surprise me that uh, a, a new Simpsons game has not been made yet. Now you. Oh, for you could argue, this is what I mean by controls, I actually did press X then, maybe it's my controller. You could argue that The Simpsons Tapped Out is a new Simpsons game. Seriously, what's wrong with me? But it's not. It's not. I'm, I'm just going to go on a little bit of a tangent here and moan about The Simpsons Tapped Out. It's not a Simpsons game, it's a pay to win game. I tried playing The Simpsons game, I, I, I did, I, I installed it and I played it for a little bit. And yeah, it was kind of fun for the first five minutes. And then you realise, oh, I need donuts to buy that house. How do I get donuts? Oh, I need to buy them. I'm sorry, but that that's just like outright theft at the end of the day. I I hate that game. I hate the Simpsons Tats Out. And so I'm I do get a couple of comments saying, Are you gonna let's play it? I don't I don't know how you could let's play that game for starters. Or how you could record a phone or an iPad or whatever but no I, I, I'm sorry but I'm not because I just I, with a passion I do not like that game and what's crazy is that it's recently just been said that it's had the most amount of players online and the most amount of money made like in the past three months so what, what are people doing with their money why are they buying things on that game if you play that game yeah if anyone plays that game Please explain to me why and what you like about it. 
Because I will be very interested to know. Uh, can I crush him with this rock? Oh, yeah. I just... Oh, I've got to break that loo. I just think it's an awful model. And it's... It's greedy and it's manipulative. And it's so crazy that that, come, that is from The Simpsons. That is from the same... Uh, that's from the same show that parodied... What did they parody? I read this somewhere about... Um, oh! Disneyland. If you went to Disneyland, apparently you could buy um, Disney Bucks. Which is basically D Disneyland owned currency, which you can only spend at Disneyland. Which is basically a very subtle way of saying, we're stealing your money and you can't use it anywhere else. And that's basically what, and like they made fun of that because they went to they in Itchy and Scratchy Land they had Itchy Bucks or something, you know. And now in real life, that is what they are doing practically. You pay money for donuts, which you can only spend in the game. It boggles my mind. Where do I go up there? Oh, oh, I'll save that in time. Push that off. I hate it. Anyway, tangent over. That's enough about the Simpsons tapped out. But I do wonder if that's successful simply because of the model, or does it actually have something to do with... Oh, I've got to stop that. With um, The Simpsons. Is it The Simpsons brand that is making that so popular? Because if it is, then they must realise they need to make another game. Oh, we need to stand that, don't we? They need to make another Simpsons game. It's been... what? This came out in 2007, so it's been six years now. Six years since the last proper console and, you know what I mean, Simpsons game, not Android or iOS. So where, where's our Simpsons game? It was four years between The Simpsons Hit and Run and The Simpsons game. And now it's six years. Where do I go? I don't know. Let's just jump over. See what happens. Don't die, Bart, please. I wonder if they are working on something, because they were originally going to make a sequel to this game. But for some reason it was cancelled. Don't know why. Maybe they just didn't make enough money from it. Oh, look at Lisa go. Woohoo. Uh, I kind of want to play another level now. Let's play another level, just quickly, before this, before this ends. I will quit out, cut to picking another level. Okay, why not end with the last level of the game? We're going to go to heaven to play Game Over. Okay, here we are. Oh god, I forgot we have to fight William Shakespeare to begin with. Uh, so I thought we'd just end off, round off in this level, because I do quite like this level. Um, if I can... Man, he is owning us! Damn you, Shakespeare. Let's just spam him with pellets. But... Overall, I do like this game. I think the, the variety of um, characters and the variety of like um, character abilities, because they're all different, you know. Bart has a slingshot on the Bartman, Alter Ego, and Marge has a megaphone. Lisa has a Buddha statue. Oh, Shakespeare's dead. <laughs> Look at him go. And the variety of missions as well. You know, they have Medal of Homer mocking the Medal of Honor series, you have like the Final Fantasy slash Pokemon type things. They did a really good job with a variety of stuff. Oh look at the loading screen. So the story is, is top notch and the ideas behind all the characters having their own powers and abilities, that's good as well. If only the controls were just a bit tighter and the graphics a bit nicer on the PS2. Like I said, I never played the Xbox 360. I'm, I'm sure it's a much nicer experience all round. And it's just a shame that there hasn't been a Simpsons game since this. This one here. Oh, oh well. So here we are, we're end off in heaven. Fighting all of the enemies we killed throughout the storyline. Except I'm going to run away because I'm a big wuss. So, I, I hope you've enjoyed this Simpsons week. Little bonanza. I should have called it a bonanza. Bonanza's a great word. You know, just playing through all the Simpsons game, back to back almost. Seeing what they're like. Comparing them. I mean, Simpsons Hit and Run is always going to be my favourite still, but actually, it has made me realise this game is actually pretty good. It was a good game. 
just had a few minor flaws with it really. So tomorrow we will have the little thank you video, I don't think it will be too long, just a little little thanks video of a, probably a little montage in the background or something. Um, and that will be it for the Simpsons week and my celebration of 2000 subscribers. So thank you very much to everyone who has subscribed and support my channel and and you know leave comments and all that good stuff I really do appreciate it. it makes me want to do this and just carry on and I'll see you tomorrow for the thank yous so until next time thank you for watching and goodbye <laughs>